What do the letters F, D, I, O, Q, and U have in common? Besides appearing together on I charts, those are the only letters you'll never see in a Canadian postal code. They are too similar to some other letters and would confuse the machines that sort our mail. The trucks unload the containers they picked up from postal outlets and the bags of mail they collected from public mailboxes. The containers go straight to automated sorting because the contents have already been classified by size. Not so for the bags. Postal workers empty them and put standard size envelopes on a conveyor belt leading to one sorting machine and large envelopes into a bin destined for another. The standard size letters travel to a high-speed, high-tech machine that first checks for postage. Stamps contain an invisible fluorescent material that illuminates under ultraviolet light. The machine's UV sensor scans both sides of every envelope. No glow, no go. Letters with postage are cancelled with a postmark so the stamps can't be reused. The postmark contains the date, the country and the sorting plant's postal code. Next stop, a machine called the Multi-Line Optical Character Reader, an impressive piece of equipment that processes up to 30,000 letters per hour. It reads and digitally photographs each destination address, matching it to the computer's address database. Then it prints the postal code in barcode format on the front of the envelope. A scanner now reads the barcodes and does a preliminary sorting. Local and regional mail stay here and move on to the next sorting machine for a more detailed breakdown, while letters addressed to other provinces go to postal plants there, where they're sorted further. But what happens when all this sophisticated technology just can't make out the address due to, say, sloppy handwriting or smudged ink? The optical character reader machine puts the letter on hold and sends the address photo to the video encoding system. A postal worker deciphers the writing and types in the postal code, sending the letter back into the sorting system. Now the local and regional mail goes through what's called the BCS, the barcode sorter. This performs a more detailed sorting by postal route. The machine scans the barcodes at a rate of 30,000 letters per hour, sending the mail to the corresponding letter carrier's bin. A worker preps the mail for each route, grouping and labeling it by sector. Meanwhile, large envelopes go through what's called the flat sorting machine. It does what three machines did for the standard size letters. Postmarks the stamp, reads the address, applies a barcode sticker, reads the barcode, sorts the mail, and drops it into the corresponding letter carrier's bin. If the machine can't make out an address, the envelope goes for manual sorting. There, postal workers handle more than just illegible addresses. They also hand sort mail going out of country and envelopes that are too thick or bulky to go through the automated machines. At all stages of mail processing and delivery, workers are on the lookout for envelopes bearing insufficient postage. Those letters are returned to sender. Letter carriers sort the mail for their routes by street and civic number. If they have a walking route, they load up their first bag full and head off. A truck delivers the rest to a locked box along the route called a relay box. Carriers pick up the rest of their mail when they pass by it. Some letter carriers have what's called a motorized route. They deliver all their customers' mail by truck which sure beats walking door to door in a blizzard. <laughs>